Now, Melbourne is often regarded as Australia's music capital, and a new exhibition is celebrating the city's music culture and capturing its story through songs and posters dating back 40 years. With us now from the RMIT Gallery is the exhibition curator, Suzanne Davies. Suzanne, good morning. Thanks for making time. Good morning, Virginia. So tell us about this exhibition. We've had many things that have looked back over the great rock and roll history of Melbourne. How is this different? It's different, I suppose, because it actually tests some of the, the claims that are made about Melbourne as the music centre. And we're interested very much in how the audience responds and what it means to people who've experienced music. So it's a, it's a bit of a... We've turned the, some of these, these issues on their head and we've, we want to know and explore how people use music as a, as a trigger for memory as a kind of uh, marker of significant moments in their lives. And I've worked actually with uh, Dr. Kips Horn from RMIT, who's a musicologist. So he and I co-curated this show. So it, it, it's not just sort of a, a rummage through the memorabilia of Michael Godinsky from uh, Mushroom? No, most certainly not. Kips developed a, a, a number of themes that we decided we would take the material, augment it from other sources, and then test it in the context of an art gallery, because it's an odd place to be for this kind of material. Mm. And so we've had to, in effect, uh, creatively transform it, turn it into an exhibition, but an, 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 an exhibition where the aesthetics are at the service of music. And so what sort of uh, information or, or material do we have, however, from uh, Michael Godinsky? I mean, I should imagine he would have a, a rich history of his own to, to share with you for the exhibition. Certainly. And it was, it was a happy combination of Mushroom wanting to celebrate 40 years and we were, being, we were interested in simply exploring the question of how popular music impacts on people. So we rummaged through all Michael's material. We've got lots of, of uh, imagery. We've got a lot of music. And we've augmented that with costumes, um, with a lot of interactive, very sophisticated uh, computer programming. So we've got a 21st century um, uh, jukebox. And would you like us to walk through? Sure. Take okay. us, take us on I'm a actually tour. standing here right now between uh, Deborah Conway and Archie Roach. So we'll have a look here first. We'll, this is Kylie Minogue's uh, Pegasus. Peggy, as Kylie refers to her. This is the horse that Kylie actually, or the, the, the version of the horse, that she rode throughout her Aphrodite uh, uh, tour. And the important thing about this for us was that in medieval times, Pegasus was the, the symbol of fame. So it seemed an appropriate thing to construct in the foyer. If we go now into the Michael and what we call the Michael and Molly room, and we had to, we had to work with all sorts of material that... Um, well, both Molly and Michael have an interest in sport, but M Molly particularly. So we've got Molly's sport, uh, his surfboard, M some of Molly's memorabilia <laughs> relating to... Do you know Molly could surf? I've learnt something this morning. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we just assume Molly can surf. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but there's some, there's some wonderful things in here. And this is the room with, with in fact, the memorabilia that... You were asking me about what's in, what's in Michael's collection. Well, we've got a great wall of, of awards, both gold and platinum. Some f countdown footage and uh, interviews with Molly talking about it. A number of photographs of Michael, of course, with people who he's interacted with, people significant to him. And a whole bookcase of key Michael memorabilia. This is Michael's, a version of Michael's desk. And Michael's decided he's going to come in here and work occasionally. We're all, we're all wondering if we can cope. I, I, I don't know if I, if I believe that. I, I always assumed that Michael's desk could be a lot messier than that, I've got to say. No, just a Give him time. A little, little bit about the bloke. Look, it's interesting looking through all, all that memorabilia that you've got there. And, and I guess it, everyone thinks that, that the era that they grew up with in music would be the golden period, was actually the, the, the greatest period and everything's gone downhill since then. Looking at it uh, critically as you have, can you say whether there was or wasn't a, a particular golden period for music in Melbourne? We probably wouldn't want to pick any particular period because it's, it's in such a state of, of constant uh, evolution and development. But it's very clear that, that the, a key moment was Sunbury 72 yep. when there was a huge, 
huge response to contemporary music and it's just taken off since then. We're in the room with all the, the costumes mm -hmm. and as you can also see photographs particularly of performers in costume painting their faces and what we were interested in was the development of the sort of personality. So we, we realised that, that Carly had gone, we, we thought, probably four distinct stages of, of, you know, little hot pants Carly, then, then a more sort of um, uh, sporty Carly, <laughs> showgirl, and then diva. And so we were very interested in the way costumes evolved. Split ends, for instance, coming out of an art school situation. Oh, yes. I remember, using I remember, design I remember very the, strongly. the split end stuff very, very clearly in there. And there, I think you've got one of those amazing glow in the dark jackets that, um, that split ends wore as well. Suzanne Davies, we'll, we'll leave it there. It's a, it's a fantastic looking exhibition, but thank you for walking us through this morning. And, um, thank you, Virginia. You're looking very rock and roll yourself this morning as well, so thanks so much. <laughs> a little tired, perhaps. <laughs> Good on you, thank you. She's been up all night just it's getting into character. Stuff there. Okay, let's go to.